So I've been letting my hair just air dry and then I tied it back. It's still a little wet. I'm just gonna brush it out first. Normally I have my vanity lights on, but it's been so hot today. It's like 65 out and it feels like 85 in my house. So I don't really wanna put the lights on if I don't have to, so that's why I have my flash on. And I just like to part my hair. So I usually just get the top half up into a bun. I had to go buy a new straightener the other day at Target. So this is the Conair one, it was $20. Whenever I have my straightener plugged in, it makes my lights flicker. I don't know why, it's the weirdest thing. I've just been really bored, just trying to find things to do. Um, still making TikTok videos. <laughs> and I can't believe the world that we're living in right now, it's actually crazy. Um, about my move to Pittsburgh, which got postponed now until May, which I'm irritated about. So I'm just going to separate these two pieces and just finish this, the back of the side here. My birthday is coming up in a couple weeks, actually less than two weeks in April, April 9th. Shout out to all my Aries babies. I really don't even want to celebrate it. There's nothing to do right now and I don't foresee like, you know, things being cleared up within two weeks. I thought I'd be in Pittsburgh, like I thought I'd celebrate it with my boyfriend, but and I feel like so many people wonder about my relationship. I'm just gonna wrap this around top so I can get under here more. My relationship just isn't really something that I share a lot of. Like I posted a vlog and like my boyfriend was in it and everything. I've never really been one to share my relationships like on social media. I'm just not the type of person that I feel the need to post it to the world. I don't know. My man lives on the other side of the state. I see him like, you know, once every couple months. Should I make a video? I don't think anybody would watch a video about my relationship. Girl. I should have expected that. I'll answer some questions that people probably will have about my relationship. I met him in college. I'm just gonna wrap this up top too, cause I can't see the piece underneath. I met him at a frat party, which not my finest hours. 2018, it was like Halloween weekend. He was in the frat. I did not like him at all. That sounds so bad, but I didn't. I just honestly thought he was just, you know, some weirdo, okay? He was trying to talk to me. We're in the middle of a fucking frat party. I was a bitch to him. So honestly, the fact that he even talked to me afterwards, kind of surprising. So I gave him my Snapchat literally just so that he would leave me alone. Can you believe I ended up with him? Yep. <laughs> True story. So he snapped me like a couple times like after the party, he sent me like a picture of his room. So I didn't respond. I went back to the frat a couple more times but I didn't see him again. So I was just kind of like whatever. Went on a cruise in January of 2019 so you know I was posting like my beach pics and everything. He was snapping me while I was on this cruise and I was like alright you know what I'll talk to this guy. So we talked like back and forth and then that was kind of it. A couple weeks later about to be like the start of the spring semester in college. He snapped me and was like, oh, you know, we're in the same online class. And I'm like, really? Okay. Online class, it's not really that good. You're not gonna see the person. Are we gonna be study buddies or like, what's up? That's pretty much how everything started. And that was not sexual. Once I have the underlayer pretty much finished, then I take the top down and 
I don't have a middle part. Mine's like a little bit off to the side. It's fine. We're gonna ignore it. And then I always start with one side. I don't really tie anything back now. I just flip it over. But you can tie it back if it doesn't stay. So I just twist it, flip it, tuck it behind my ear. So spring semester started and we had a couple quizzes and stuff coming up in this online class so he asked me if I wanted to like do it together so I'm like okay sure you know like where do you want to meet up do you want to go to the library do you want to go wherever I was like I could come to your place <laughs> he's like yeah I live in the frat house I thought maybe he had an apartment or something Okay, so I felt awkward going to the frat house. I don't know how to get in. You know, when you go to parties, you go in the basement. I don't think we're gonna be in the basement doing this quiz. Where am I supposed to go? And he's like, oh, I can come pick you up. So he really only had to drive like a minute to come and get me, but still I thought it was nice that he came and picked me up. Got in his car, we went back to the house, and like, you know, where do you wanna go? Like, we could go up to my room, we could go to the study room he's like oh we can go to the study room like the other brothers are up there doing their schoolwork i wasn't sure what to expect never actually went to a frat house in the daytime to do schoolwork the only time i was at a frat house was to go to a party all right i'm just gonna flip that to the back that's done and then put this part down what are we doing up in the study room we go up there and literally maybe five brothers they were just um they just had their laptop, they're just doing schoolwork. Oh shit, okay. We just did our quiz, played 2K, which I was really surprised because I don't know if you guys have been in college, Trap boys be having their own little rep. I left after a little while. I really like this guy. He's super nice, super funny. That was basically how our friendship or whatever you want to call it started was we were doing our schoolwork together. We would go to frat parties, I would see him there never really was a serious relationship just because we were both graduating I didn't know what I was gonna I wanted to go to New York that was my original plan for like the longest time I don't know what his original plan he was going for interviews in Pittsburgh so I honestly expected him to go to Pittsburgh anyways which he did but for me like I wasn't sure what I wanted to do I just moved back home for a couple months get my life together and I still had online classes to do just because I graduated early. So that's why I wind up getting a job at Sephora. I hung out with him a couple days like before I left college and then that was pretty much it. I didn't talk to him for a while after college. I tried to talk to him like a couple times but eventually I just gave up. It's never going to be anything serious. He's just my friend at this point. I just focused on working. I was working two jobs and that was pretty much my life was just finishing school and working. And then one day he decides to snap me again and I'm like, oh hey, what's up? So we started talking. I went and visited him in Pittsburgh. Still not in a relationship with him, but I'm going to see him in Pittsburgh. Okay. I'm not going to continue whatever that you want to consider this. I'm not going to keep coming to Pittsburgh to visit you as a fucking friend. Now here we are. We're in a long distance relationship. That's the T. That's my relationship. It's been hard, I'm not going to lie. I think it's good that we start off as friends just because it helped build our relationship, especially in college. You might just hook up with someone. It might just be like a friends with benefits type of thing. All right, so same thing on this side. Flipped it over behind my ear, kind of. And I'm just gonna get started. But I think with any relationship, whether you're doing long distance, whether you live with the person, whatever the situation is, I think it's important to just have that friendship. That's my best friend, bitch. So 
just gonna flip this side over now, brush it out. that we both really like i said about moving to pittsburgh and i mean i was even in my vlog i was looking for an apartment for myself i wasn't like, we weren't looking together and then after i left pittsburgh like, what would you think about living together i'll go to pittsburgh for like up to a week and i would be with him pretty much the whole time like living in his apartment and in his room <laughs> so i'm not comparing you know oh visiting you know for a couple days to it being anything similar to living together but it's important in a relationship to know if you can actually live with the person. And I even said, you know, if it doesn't work out, that's fine. I'll just be your roommate. It's a two-bedroom house. But that's my boo. I have a mirror in my bathroom that comes out so you could see, like, the back of your head. But if I don't feel like getting up, my mirror is broken. It's fine. <laughs> I have my vanity mirror here, so I always like to take another mirror and just point it to the back of my head to see if there's any bumps. So I'm going to straighten the back a little bit because it's looking kind of bumpy back there. I think that is it, you guys. I don't know. Hopefully it looks good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.